Johnny Enloe. You guys remember this clip? It's like really, really old. It came out in 2019. He tries to explain that Donald Trump is like this special character in the Bible, and he's absolutely going to win in, in 2020, no doubt. I was asking the Lord about it. He hadn't told me. And I was like, Lord, you still haven't showed me. And then on March, right when I'm saying that, I have this, oh, it's not an open vision, but it was a vision. And in the vision, I see this circular mountain that goes up, and there's a path all the way up. And at the top is Donald Trump, and he's on a motorcycle. And he's on, on a motorcycle, and he's making a lot of noise with it. And he has red, white, and blue bandana on his, on his head. And so in an instant, it wasn't hard for me to figure out. God, he's got the, the weirdest, like, conception of Donald Trump. Has Donald Trump ever worn a bandana on his head before? Has he ever r ridden a motorcycle in his life? Ever. White and blue bandana on his He's wearing a red, white, and blue bandana on his head. On his head. And so in an instant, it wasn't hard for me to figure out what was being said. It's the only time I've ever, while seeing a vision, actually talked out loud. And I go, oh, no. God's giving him this vision, remember. Because I was like, this means this is not going to be a peaceful exchange. This is not a peaceful transition we're going into. This is, is something more. And then I was. So this is a year before. Yeah, well, basically 11 months before the election took place and we knew Biden was going to win, 11 months before. And then I was brought in real close to the motorcycle and it was triumph, which is further confirmation. And so I was like, Lord, as I'm saying that, what the first thing he said is he is going to save you from things you don't know you need to be saved from yet. And then the Lord progressively began to speak regarding that. And he said, you hear in the prophetic language he's using. And then the Lord continued to speak regarding that. This is insane. Insane. Speak regarding that. And he said, this time in the presidency is going to be a hinge of the ages and be known as before Trump and after Trump because of the way I'm going to use him. I'm using wow. him as a Trump card, but I'm the Trump card player. Okay, so he's, he's saying we're going to move from a Jesus-based system to a Donald Trump-based system. Donald Trump is a substitute for Jesus. He's standing in for Jesus, if you will. You know, um, I don't know if the belief system was fully formed out yet when this clip came out or not. I think it probably was. But the belief system currently among some of these people, like Shane Vaughn, for example, is that Donald Trump is going to fill in for Jesus as the Son of Man. Like, he's actually going to take political control and spark Armageddon and to judge people. Like Trump is going to judge people in Jesus' place. That was That's the belief right now. And so your nation will be known as before Trump and after Trump. And he said, the nations will be known as before Trump, after Trump. And the Lord, it was like, he said, I'm really not interested in your all's vote this time. I'm doing it. I usually give you all that option. Boy, he just picked a whole bouquet of oopsie daisies, didn't he? He picked a whole field of oopsie daisies. This time, I'm not. This is a rescue operation from heaven. This is this is a, a a moment of the ages. This will go down. This time period will go down as a before and after A.D. You know, a, a, but B.C. A.D. The, depending on what terminology you use now. This is funny as hell. I absolutely love. All of these fake, ridiculous, nonsensical, like, prophets, quote unquote. You know what? Let's talk about a couple other prophets while we're at it. Why not? Let's do it. I was going to talk about something else. Let's talk about some fake prophets. Hold on. Quick note before we continue, I want to let you know I just wrote a book. If you want to check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. It's a book about my experiences within Jehovah's Witnesses. It's completely understandable if you know nothing about Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you're a Christian, it's a good reference to use for why Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong about their interpretation of the Bible. The last chapter of the book is 100 questions that I have for the governing body. I'm selling the last chapter separately as its own separate guide if you guys want to get that too. So check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. I'd appreciate that. Leading up to the 2020 election, Hank Kuhneman claimed that Trump was going to win and he failed miserably. He lied and it, it all fell apart. And after it fell apart... After he made, oops, after he made direct claims that Trump would absolutely win the election, he comes out here and he says, 
this. Why is Hank Kuhneman standing? Because God has spoken to me. And you want to call me false, and yet I have stood, and I stand with God. I will stand with this loyalty whether you think I'm false or not. If that's what you think, then you can take your opinion and you can shove it. That doesn't sound like something a man of God would say. Anyway, after Trump lost the election, Kuhneman still could not give it up. He continued to talk about this over and over and even made new prophecies. This is a flip, uh, the flop flip prophecy is what he calls it. Uh, I don't remember when this one came out. I think this is 2021. Yeah, I think September 2021. But watch, for you have heard the saying, flip, flop. But I speak to you this... But he's speaking with God's voice right now. That's what he wants you to think. That's why his eyes are closed. He's telling you what God is telling him to say. I speak to you this day. Flop, flip. You say, what do you mean? People clapping in the background, like he, they have no idea what's going on. They'll clap for anything, won't they? What do you mean? I speak flop, flip, because the agenda of hell and those who have agreed and thought that they could steal this land through your election and steal the future from your children, it shall flop. Okay, so the plan to steal the election that doesn't exist is going to flop and then watch what shall arise whistleblowers after whistleblowers they shall not only see that their agenda has flopped they will begin to flip so whistleblowers going to come in and and flip on biden or whatever other nonsense and when that fell flat nothing happened 2022 at least um, probably six months later, bare minimum, he comes out and says this. Jesus approved of God in signs, wonders, and miracles. We need to get our eyes on the Lord. And he is not done with this nation. And I'm telling you, he is pushing back. He is bringing justice. And we are going to see the manifestations of these things with some great changes that are coming. It's not all, it's not all going to be right away, but we're going to see it unravel. And flop flip is going to continue in the land of America. Totally. Totally. Absolutely. Oh, man. I, I know there are so many prophets, supposed prophets that came out and said this stuff. Which one? How about Kat Kerr? Yeah, Kat Kerr made. No, no. Oh, I know one. Before we hit Kat Kerr, I want to hit her. But first, let's hit Manuel Johnson. OK, so <laughs> God, dude, this guy, you may know him from my channel, um, like my channel trailer. This is Manuel Johnson. Uh, just listen to him literally crying as he de describes a vision that God gave to him. Quick interjection, this won't take long. If you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you watch the video to the end. YouTube bases video reach off of watch time, so watching even an extra minute makes the video go further. Liking and subscribing goes a long way too. Finally, it would be awesome if you guys checked out my Patreon. All links are in the description, of course. Okay, back to the video. I was going down from the mountain just in odd just like moses he was coming down from a mountain in awe in odd it would just happen to me and the voice comes he says my son he's crying he's pretending to at least i don't think this is even real right he's faking it isn't he go get our bike he said, our bike go get, go get our bike not your bike because this is not so it wasn't just about me he says go get our bike oh my god dude he he's trying to convince people jesus told him to buy a motorcycle go get our bike wow you hear him wow and steve i just broke down i just broke down right there at the foot of the mountain I what a clown, dude. I'm sorry. This is just, this is clown behavior right here. This broke down. Go get our bike? What do you, what, Lloyd? Go get our bike? Yes. Man. And when the Lord directed me to the bike, it's a BMW. I'm sorry. I just had to get to that part. It's so ridiculous. Okay, well, Manuel Johnson made some claims of his own. Here it is. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, this one. This one. Oh, God. I, I just, like, I eat this up. These people 
are ridiculous. Okay, 2021, November 2021, late November. So this is after voting had already taken place. Biden had won. We knew for a fact Biden won the election. And Trump was claiming all this nonsensical, you know, voter fraud stuff and trying to, uh, you know, take the election from Biden, basically. Now listen to what Manuel Johnson said. Into this, uh, went through this portal and I, I, I'm watching and I see a lot of movements. It was a beautiful day. By the way, he's on TV, if you can't tell. This is him on TV. He's not a nobody. A lot of movements. Nobody was wearing a mask. He walked through a portal that God created for him, and no one was wearing a mask. Glory to God. It was a thing of the past. The mask, the virus is going bye-bye. And I it didn't go bye-bye, of course. It's still around. People are still dying from it. We've just, you know, we're tr kind of learning to live with COVID. But anyway, okay, go on. It's going bye-bye. And I didn't know what year it was, so I saw a gentleman pass by me. And he didn't know what year it was. As he was passing by me, I'd ask him. I said, sir, what year is this? And he looked at me crazy. He thought I looked like he, I, th I think he thought I was drunk. And I said, sir. Okay, this, he's mimicking a Bible story. There's a Bible story about somebody going to the temple to, to cry and pray, and somebody thought that they were drunk and all that. This is such a joke, dude. And I said, sir, please tell me what, what year is this? And he looked at me and he says, where have you been? I said, please tell me, what year is this? He goes, man, it's 2022. Don't you know? It's 2022. And I go, wow. And then he started to walk away. And I asked him again. I know I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to do this. Holy Spirit prompted him to do this, to ask more. I said, sir, who is the president? Who is the president? And he said, don't you know? I said, I don't. Please tell me, who is the president? And he told me, he said, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is our president. Oh, my God, dude. So God, <laughs> God creates a portal for him to walk through. He walks through the portal into 2022, and he sees that Donald Trump is a president. I mean, these people straight up lied. How can they just, like, get away with this? Like, nobody remembers this stuff. How do they still have ministries? I don't understand. Oh, dude, let me find another. There's a, there's another. Hold on. Okay, I've got a compilation. Uh, credit to Right Wing Watch for putting a compilation together. They do great work over there. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I don't know. Back in maybe 2018 or something, this woman named Kat Kerr got famous for being a weather warrior. Moment, we take authority over Dorian. It's a, a hurricane off the coast of Florida. It has no right off the coast of this state or anywhere and we hit that storm to the east right now and i'm gonna do it three times would you be surprised to learn that it didn't do anything she was completely unsuccessful well she claimed that god gave her information god told her who was going to win the election and she communicated that to us as a prophet of god so i declare the upcoming election in 2020, the one you have chosen, will win in a landslide. You will show your favor over that administration and give them new things to do to help our country be greater than it ever was before. And so she basically she said Trump is going to win in a landslide and she prophesied it like straight up claimed God told her this. Here's a compilation from Right Wing Watch of her claiming that Trump would be the, you know, he'd get a second term and he'd be um, claiming that Trump would be the president from 2020 to 2024. Once again, Trump will win and triumph in the White House for all those who've been praying for that. Yes, he's going to win. God has already chosen him to win again and begin to pray for Pence who will step in right behind him for eight Oh my God, so wrong. It's ridiculous. I love everything about it. Years, because I can tell you that Pelosi and all the others who think they have power, it's about to be stripped away. And they have no future because Trump is going to win 
God's not even going to wait to the end of this broadcast. Trump will win in November because he will continue to have justice, liberty, and freedom in America. Just insane, dude. I have clip after clip after clip of her doing this. Seriously. She did it so many times. I can't even tell you. And then when he loses, what does she say in response? Oh, she lost it, dude. She started yelling at people. She started saying, I am the one who makes the decision, and those who try to steal it from me will suffer, and all this stuff. It was crazy. And then she calmly comes out here. When was this one? I don't remember when this. I think this might have been in uh, December, like after Trump lost. And she says she tries to explain her landslide comments. Win by a landslide. Okay. Now, in man's mind, in their human mind, they already put together what they think that means. Right. But many times, as we know in the word, or even just from experience ourselves, especially as a prophet, that doesn't ever mean what man thinks it means. Those who have been perpetrating. Yeah, it's your fault. It's your fault I got the prophecy wrong. Not mine. Yours. Those who have been perpetrating the lie, they've been paid to commit lies or stealing or cheating, will begin to get very nervous. They're actually already nervous. And let me... Uh, yeah, uh, three years ago, they were already super nervous, totally. I tell you, conviction's going to come upon some of them. In the lower levels, that's what he meant about the landslide, the smaller rocks move first, which pulls the bigger ones down. And that's what he meant when he said Trump will win by a landslide. So totally. That's what that's what he meant. There's, there you go. That's the difference between revelation and what man in their head thinks that means. She is shameless. She tries to explain it away. And when that doesn't work in March 2022, she starts to realize, well, Trump's not going to be in office. She just said, God told me when the election was happening that it was about to be stolen. When they shut it down immediately, right next to me, he said to me, this is when they're going to cheat and steal the election. They'll bury the ballots, burn the ballots, put fake ballots. I mean, he went down this whole list of exactly what they were doing while he wow. was saying it to me. He was telling Well, wait a minute then. Wait, 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 wait. So God told you that when the voting was happening? Then why did you come out here and say that Trump was going to win in a landslide? And why did you reaffirm that he's going to win in a landslide like two months later? That's weird, huh? Would you be surprised to find that this woman is she still has a ministry like to this day and is significantly more influential than me, like by a lot, by orders of magnitude. These people are just clowns. They're just clowns. They've always been clowns. And I don't understand how it is that they still have any power, authority, or whatever. I don't get it. Oh, you guys remember Jeff Jansen? You may not remember him. So there was this uh, QAnon prophecy that kind of mixed with, like, uh, with Christianity and the sovereign citizen movement and Donald Trumpism or whatever, that where they believed that when the Union rejoined with the Confederacy in the 1800s, it formed into a corporation rather than the U.S. government. It was the corporation of the U.S. government instead. So we've only had 17 presidents or something. Abraham Lincoln was the last real president of the U.S. So this QAnon belief was that Trump is going to be reinstated as president, the first real president in like 100-something years. It was going to happen on March 4th because the fake U.S. government, the corporation changed inauguration day in like the 1920s or something from March 4th to January 20th. So there's this big QAnon conspiracy going around that Trump is going to be reinstated on March 4th. He's just going to walk into the Oval Office and sit down at the Resolute desk and take over. And that's it. And we we got prophets, quote unquote, like Jeff Jansen and all these other guys coming out here and saying this ridiculous stuff. This video was produced on, it was 2021. It was early February, 2021. So about, a, I don't know, um, three weeks after Biden was inaugurated. And it's about a month before they believed Trump is going to be secretly inaugurated, right? There was inauguration. He put his hand on a Bible or a supposed Bible. Someone said it's upside down. I don't know if it was, but they put a hand on a, on a Bible 
said the right words, and now people say, okay, now he's our president. Now we have to pray for our president. You see how he's getting his seatbelt all situated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're saying that, huh? I'm going to fix my seatbelt. That'll get him. Then now we have to pray for our president. <laughs> no, he's not our president. Oh, I love everything about it, dude. He is not, nor will he ever be. And um, this, everybody knows there was a red tidal wave. There was a red sea moment, which is a red tidal wave. Actually, the Senate and the House went to Democrats, I think, right? In 2020? And uh, quite frankly, America voted in Donald J. Trump. President Trump is president. We will be rejoicing in the streets by March, April. Do you catch that? We'll be rejoicing in the streets by March. March, April, May, June. He picked March to start because, well, for one thing, he was in February, of course. But for another thing, because of that sovereign citizen QAnon thing, this guy's absolutely a QAnoner, or was at least at the time. There's going to be an amazing turnaround. You just watch what happens. Um, Okay, well, we have the benefit of hindsight now. <laughs> I love everything. You just wait and watch what happens. <laughs> happens. Um, and the world will rejoice. Not just, not just America. The world will rejoice because um, of this exposure. And, and uh, so I'm telling you that's going to take place. That, uh, you know, I'm going down with the ship on this. But and he did. He did. He went down with the ship. He was eventually removed from his ministry, I believe, for sexual immorality. I, I think he was cheating on his wife, I think it, is what it was. And he kind of lost all of his influence. The Lord showed me this. The Lord showed me this. Did you catch that that thing at the end? This. The Lord showed me this. The Lord showed me this. God, I love everything about it, dude. Hold on. Okay, just a couple more. Like, this is already getting super long, but there are just a couple more that I want to look at, Okay of Jeff Jansen. This one is from Jeff Jansen in the early, early days when he had just started doing his preaching. Dude, I don't, I'm not even sure when this is from, the 90s maybe? About two years ago, I had a visitation from uh, two angels. I was in a season of soaking and uh, just really pressing in uh, for the deep things of God. He was in a, did he say he's in a season of soaking? The only place that i know that term from is like the the ex-mormon community so is he talking about the soaking that i think he's talking about <laughs> look in the comments if you're unfamiliar i'll pin one to the top that explains it uh, for the deep things of god uh, i went to bed about 10 o'clock in the evening and uh, i was uh, awakened at 11 22 by two angels blowing silver trumpets in my face uh it was uh, it was pretty incredible totally Two angels blowing silver trumpets in his face. Um, there were there were two angels. One angel was on on the left hand side of me and was literally blowing a trumpet in my left ear. It was a long silver trumpet. Why would they do that? What's the point? I don't understand. Uh, on the other side of me, on the other side of the bed, there was another angel with a long silver trumpet blowing uh, the trumpet in my right ear. Uh, Why didn't you just tell us he, they were blowing it in each ear? Um, what came out of the, the trumpet of the uh, angel on my right was a, was a wind. And that wind actually went into my spirit, went down into my spirit, man. And uh, it I don't understand. Like, what the hell is he even talking about? I, this guy is just, God, I love everything about it. These people are unglued from reality. Jeff Jansen, man. I've got to see what this dude's up to now. Like I said, he run, or ran Global Fire Ministries. But I don't think he's really, like, involved anymore. Hey, guys, Jeff Jansen International. A really important piece of information came to me just a few days ago. The Lord's been telling me for several months now, watch February the 22nd, 2022, 2 2022 that something was going to take place. Pluto will be in its original seat of government. It hasn't been seen in the heavens for 248 years, which takes us back to 1776. Okay. Why did we pick Pluto? I mean, is that even real? I doubt it, right? Why'd we pick Pluto to, like, use as the basis, our anchor point or whatever for anything? And what does this even mean? I don't understand.
It takes it right back to 1776. Pluto represents a personal change. It represents a, a regime change, a transformation in government. Regime change. Something is taking place in the heavens. Bob Jones would tell me, Jeff, if you're going to see what God's going to do in the earth, the heavens first declare the glory of God. The heavens declare. Oh, God, Bob Jones. I looked him up recently. That guy, um, I believe that he confessed publicly and apologized to sexually assaulting two women. Don't quote me on that. I don't know that for sure. But people in his circle, like Jeff Jansen, well, not Jeff Jansen, but the guy I played at the beginning, uh, Johnny Enlow, says that he's not really happy with Jeff Jansen's behavior. So take that for what you will. Then there's this one from Jeff Jansen. This one is from 2022, early January 2022. I told people last Christmas, listen to me, I was prophesying about about the administration. I was prophesying about Trump. I was oh, I remember. Yep. Prophesying about the elections. I said, watch what happens on Nashville, Tennessee on Christmas morning. He did. I remember that. I have that clip somewhere. Watch what happens. Nashville, Tennessee, Christmas morning. I think that um, there was some kind of a, I don't know, there was like an attack or so, a car accident or I don't even remember. And he's using this as like a W. <laughs> you know what happened in Nashville, Tennessee Christmas morning? That bomb took place. Uh, no, it was like a car accident or there was, uh, I don't remember now. And it wasn't some guy in a van who wanted to commit suicide. That was a, that was a space war. That was a, that was a satellite strike. Okay. Now we're getting real. I like, I like real. I'm a fan. Go on. That's what that was. Taking out the Dominion server building. Dominion server building. Where all the information for the election was. They were Baal worshippers, child sacrificing, Luciferian. That's what they were. So much like the Democrats or the Democratos or the Luciferian agenda behind governments. And it's not just America, it's global. It's a global system. Would you say globalist? That consumes children's sacrifice and blood. Or maybe you'd say globalist, Trotskyite, uh, socialist, globalist. I'm trying to do an Alex Jones here. How am I doing? What'd you say? Globalists. Globalists are taking over. Sacrifice and blood and, and adrenochrome. There it is. Adrenochrome. He's a QAnoner. Full-blown QAnoner. If you believe in the whole adrenochrome thing, you're a QAnoner. And adrenochrome. I mean, it's fake. It was a fake made-up drug for a movie. Okay? It's not real. It was never real. It is the byproduct of adrenaline. It's what is produced when oxygen attaches to the adrenaline molecule to make it inert. If you want a real adrenaline high, you can get that. It's easy and you don't have to like suck it out of kids' arms with like a Capri Sun straw. All you got to do is jump out of an airplane with a parachute on. People go skydiving all the time to get adrenaline rushes. You don't need adrenochrome. Again, adrenochrome doesn't do anything anyway. It literally doesn't make you feel anything. It's not that hard to access. Scientists have accessed it, you know, over the years to do studies and stuff. And, and adrenochrome for, for the purpose of a currency, for the purpose of you know what for. Oh, my God, dude. These, <laughs> these people, man. I love it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Everything that they said in these videos was wrong. And I am here for every second of it. I love it. Dude, I love looking back at these old fails. It's so fantastic. I didn't even plan on doing that, but it's just fantastic, man. I love everything about it. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Should I do more super old, like prophecy fails and stuff look i have a whole clip collection goes all the way back to 2021 even earlier than that i have stuff from 1976 if you want access to it it's 100 percent free i'm not selling you anything owenmorgan.com slash clips it's a dropbox i maintain with all the clips i ever cover and i could just pick a random week in a random month in a random year let's just let, let's pick december 19th 2021 let's see we got shane vaughn thinks covid is the antichrist you know, we could just pick random stuff and go through it and like laugh at it. How many knows Yahshua cannot return till Elijah comes? 
You're going to miss this if you don't follow this close. God spoke to me yesterday in my office and said, just as the spirit of Elijah must come before Christ comes, the spirit of the Antichrist must come before the Antichrist come. And COVID-19 is the spirit of the Antichrist. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Anyway, maybe I should do that. Maybe we should just go through some of these old ones. Oh, God. Some of these are fantastic, man. Uh, yeah. Tell me what you think in the comments.